Most of Puerto Rico is still without power in the wake of Hurricane Fiona. Folks in the western Connecticut with friends and family back in Puerto Rico hoping the island has an easy recovery than it did after Hurricane Maria back in 2017. News 12 Connecticut Sean McCabe with the story this evening. It's pretty amazing how uh, the island once again is being hit by such a devastating storm. Edgar Rodriguez, owner of Luz de Paz Funeral Home in Bridgeport, says he has a home in Puerto Rico along with most of his family. One of the things that has not been compromised as bad has been cell phone uh, uh, signal. So I've been able to communicate with all my family and I know, thank God, they're all well. Rodriguez watching news reports from home as the island saw roughly two feet of rainfall in 24 hours. About 24 to 26 inches of rain, depending on what part of the island. Many Puerto Rican roads turned into rivers at the height of the storm. Roads being uh, destroyed by landslides. We've seen many houses that are underwater. Uh, businesses that are literally all you see are the rooftops. Rodriguez says the island is still not fully healed from its last major hurricane strike five years ago. Unfortunately, they have been unable to get past Maria when here we are again. And the few little improvements that were done were probably just destroyed again because of the amount of water that they've experienced. He says Puerto Rico will need federal aid for this recovery, and he says that money should be spent on real infrastructure improvements. We can't just send money and, hey, let them do what they need to do. No, we need to send money, but we need to send people to visually watch and make sure things are being done the way they're supposed to be. Fiona bringing a lot less wind power than Maria did five years ago. Rodriguez hoping that points to an easier rebuild this time around. If the damage was just water, it may be able, depending on what has been damaged, to be back faster than Maria. But I'm not sure how fast, because that's something that has to be evaluated by those there. Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut.